The idea of enslaving someone, taking them from their homeland, putting them through a process called the Middle Passage, which is storing them like beans and tobacco and rice and seeds and livestock in the holes of a ship and transporting them to a new location, trying to rob them of their humanity and their identity. The rupture to people's lives has been a compelling point of reference for African American artists to pick those pieces up and try to reconnect them or knit them or reconfigure, revision what that experience was about. Uh, Joyce does it through her beads. It is a process of humility to be able to watch a person craft something from small, beautiful things to a large, important, magnificent statement. And craft becomes the ethic upon which our work, the work that we do as human beings, makes the difference in our world. Andrea Lord, the poet, once said, did you do the work? Did you do the work? And it's about the work ethic. It's about sweat equity. And it's not about the sweat equity in anticipation of a reward or someone giving you a halo, but it's also about self-worth. And so in the African-American tradition, what we are really commenting on when we embrace the craft, the hand, is that we're talking about the American tradition. This is an American story. This is how America was built, was constructed, has become what it is today and should become so much more because we must go back and reclaim the things that made this country what it was and it was the craft traditions. And the African American story must stand alongside of the Native American stories, the Latino stories, the Asian stories, all of the stories of the peoples. And those stories then mirror and reflect back to all of the other stories that come from the ancestral traditions of all of the global cultures. So for me, craft is the center of all things. Mm -hmm.